Hello, Dr. Sunny again, and this is an explanation of the video analysis assignment. So every week you are going to have a video to watch and you are going to analyze it using the terms, the concepts, the theories from our class. Now all of these videos will either be in Netflix, which you're required to have a subscription, basic subscription for our class instead of a textbook, or they will be a free source such as YouTube. But this week, as I expect for most weeks, the video is in Netflix. And as you can see behind me, the video is the very first episode of season one of 13 Reasons Why. So what you will do to complete this assignment. First, you're going to watch this episode. And if you're like me and you like to look at other things on your phone or your computer while you're doing this, um, I've provided you some links for more information. So there's a link to IMDb and a link to Wikipedia if you want to read more about sort of the cultural context of this series and this particular episode. There are also links to explore more information, sometimes criticism, sometimes analysis, about the concepts or topics in the week's video. So for example, in this week's video, I've linked to some articles that discuss the controversy around the release of this video and how the meta-communication about suicide was um, attributed or suspected of leading to rises in suicide rates, which is sort of tangential to our communication messages this week. Um, but what you're going to be focusing on this week are three discussion questions. And this will be the same for every video analysis assignment in this course. So the first step is you're going to answer each of these three discussion questions with a post that should be at least 500 words that answers the question. And you'll see those discussion questions both in this assignment description and then each of the questions begins a thread and you reply to that questions thread to answer and provide your question. Now after you do that, the next thing you're going to do is go through and reply to at least one classmate in each of the threads for the three discussion questions. So three replies to classmates, each one should be 250 words. One of the reasons that I really like this kind of assignment is instead of having a static textbook with um, older or outdated information or examples, this really allows you to take what we're learning and apply it not just to your real life, which can sometimes be too intimate or personal to discuss, um, but to a fictional portrayal that gives us a really nice material for discussing these concepts. The other reason I like it um, is if, like me, you have a family or poodles that you like to spend time with that enjoy watching movies, this gives you a chance to connect with them while you're completing your homework. And hopefully it'll help integrate some of the concepts we're learning about in interpersonal communication further into your experience, further into your life. Um, if you ever have a suggestion of something on Netflix that you would think would make a good video analysis in the future, please, please send me that um, in an inbox message and let me know. Something else you'll notice is there are two additional threads beyond the three discussion questions on each week's video analysis. And one of these is an extra credit opportunity, which is completely optional. And the other one is a FAQ. So if you have questions sort of about the mechanics um, or technicalities of completing the assignment. Now, I'm gonna get back to my movie and you should get started on watching this first episode of 13 Reasons Why.